g'day guys, Ian South Oz here. Just thought I'd show you a few new additions that I've bought online. Um, as you probably know from my previous vlogs, I do a bit of shopping through the uh, Johnny Reb shop. I believe that's based in Victoria. That's johnnyreb.com.au. It's an Australian based company, sells motorcycle gear. And, uh, and, and they're really efficient with their delivery. Um, just a couple of days. They have a free exchange policy. They send you a bag so you can exchange stuff uh, and all that type of thing. Well, today, what I've got here is a um, open face helmet. And if you go online, you'll see these helmets. They're 129 bucks. If you subscribe for the first time, you get 10% discount. Now the beauty about this company, I'm not sponsored by them, so let's get that straight, uh, but the beauty about this company is they have a lot of specials, and I've bought um, specials recently, 30% off. Uh, your first subscription, you get 10% off, and quite often they have 20% off. So what you do is sign up to their newsletter, and uh, whammo, you'll get an email saying we've got uh, discounts 20% off etc and they have half price specials. This wasn't on special, I got it for 129 bucks, it took about three days if at the most to get here. This is the lowest profile helmet legal uh, in Australia. Now to give you an idea, well this helmet it's as light as a feather, It's uh, you can get it with brown or black lining they had no black left so I got the brown I normally take a large this one's medium and uh, it fits snug not tight but snug and uh, it, I'm quite happy with it so I'll just get the other one the old one I've got one here now if you I'll move this box out all right. if you have a look I don't know if you can see that um, we'll go to this other camera Hopefully you can see that. This one's more bubble-like, it's higher, it's fatter. Um, this one's definitely smaller in profile. Line him up with the other camera and see what you can... So there you go. So this is the one I'll be wearing. If you... Um, I prefer to wear an open face. Uh, I know there's controversy about all of that, but uh, that's just what I've ridden with for the last 40 odd years. I only wear the full face when I do moto vlogs and to be quite honest it um, really annoys me wearing the full face. Um, so if I can set up an open face with a decent microphone and not get any uh, wind feedback that's exactly what I'll be doing. But anyway that aside, so 129 bucks. Now what else did I buy? Well I've got these boots. Now these these are crackers. These are um, Johnny Red boots. They're leather. They're waterproof, and um, they're breathable. They're made from Nubic leather. Now on the website, these are quite trendy looking things. I, I, I normally take an eight and a half, and I'm a, I have a wide foot. I have a um, triple E. Uh, foot normally these didn't come in a triple e so i went to a size nine and they fit really good so they're half price at the moment they've only got certain sizes um, they come in black and brown now i bought these primarily for say the sports the, or the deluxe where they're suited for short riders i don't need the elevation on the heel um, because they are quite uh, flat there's not much of a heel there but, um, geez, they feel really good. I've, I've tried them on, they feel really good. So they're half price. I think they're about 89 bucks, normally 175 or something like that. So they're a steal. And just a couple of months ago, you might remember about a year ago, I bought these boots here. And um, they were to get some elevation so that I could flat foot on the Ultra and uh, also on the Deluxe. And they, they were really good and they come in a wide size. They're a fairly heavy boot. They've got a three centimeter heel, so they do give you quite a bit of elevation. Anyway, I like them so much, 
Um, didn't go too much on the buckle stuff there, but I like them so much I went and bought another pair. And these are called uh, the Rumble 2s. Now these are slightly different. They're a lower cut boot. So you can see there, these are a lower cut boot. Now what I particularly like about these boots is down here on both left and right boot, they have an extra stitched piece. So when you're changing gears, you're not getting that scuff mark across the main toe and it's reinforced there. And because I've got the BSA, which is shifted with the um, left foot, no, right foot, <laughs> um, it, they're on both boots anyway. So uh, these are slightly, these are lighter. They have the same size heel. I got these at 30% off. So they were normally 170 something, I got for about 120 something. So um, that was the 30% deal. So I've got them, very comfortable. I'll be wearing them a lot. Also, while I was there, and there was the 30% discount, I um, got one of these tool bags, quite thick, probably at least three mil leather, could even be more, maybe four mil. Um, I just gotta work out where I'm gonna put it. I'll probably end up putting it on the uh, Sportster somewhere, um, just to carry tools primarily, that's all it's for. That was on special 30% off, I reckon it was about 40 something bucks. So that was good. I also, when they had the 30% discount as well, got this, um, this is called a leg bag. And what it, what it does, this strap goes around your waist here and one goes around your leg. And you can put a few documents in there. I mean, you can put your wallet in there. It's got, it's got zippers, zippers in here that um, obviously open up. Zipper there, pouch there. There's another zipper at the top here. So um, I bought that because the Sportster doesn't have much luggage space. And I thought, well, if I do go on a little bit of a ride and I'm going to take you know, my wallet and a few other items, I can just chuck them in here. So that was pretty cheap. Um, I can't remember now, it was under 100 bucks. It was about 60 bucks or something. Will I ever use it? Yeah, maybe. But uh, anyway, it's there. Um, now, as far as the Johnny Reb stuff goes, that's about it. But you might remember me mentioning that uh, I want to do a half lap of Australia or a full lap or two half laps, however it pans out with the pandemic that we have here at the moment. So what I've done, I've um, done a little bit of research and um, I, you know, I don't want to get into a debate about oils, but from my research, I, I reckon this is the best oil in the world and it's what I'm going to be using in my Harleys from now on. So um, for the Road King, I'll be loading her up with uh, this V-Twin uh, motorcycle oil by AMS Oil 20W50. I bought a uh, 12 quarts of that and I'm going to use in the transmission, I'm going to use the transmission fluid uh, oil. It's it's slightly um, a heavier oil, uh, I've looked at the stats, slightly heavier than the 20W50. It's not like a, an, an 80, 90 or anything like that, uh, or 60, 90 or whatever. Uh, but it's slightly thicker uh, than this one, and it's supposed to be the way to go. But anyway, so I'm, I'm converting to AMS oil. Um, on the other bikes, I probably won't because I don't do as many kilometres, so I'll probably just stick to the semi-synthetic. I thought about the Sin 3. If you check the uh, material safety, da safety data sheet, it um, actually comes out at a 60 synthetic 40 mineral. Um, but under the new laws uh, they've had in for a while, if it meets a certain criteria of synthetic, they can call it full synthetic. That's just the way it goes. This actually is full synthetic, um, which is one of the beauties about it. Uh, I believe Mobile One is still a full synthetic. Um, but anyway, the Syn3, it, it's a good oil, but I want a full synthetic. So that's the reason I went M's oil. 
So that's pretty much it at the moment. Uh, thanks to my new subscribers. And uh, please subscribe and like. All my gear, uh, well most of the gear I use is all linked below. So you can click on that and uh, have a browse around Amazon, etc. And uh, oh yeah, I got a new, um, I'm using the actual Rhodey wireless mic. Uh, it's called a wireless go so i don't know how it's going to pan out i've actually got it sitting in my pocket there so i've got one on the limit camera up there and uh, we'll see how it goes but what i'll do i'll do a range test of this in the next vlog i'll set it up on the back porch and uh, the shed's 40 foot long so i can go right down the back about 80 90 feet and we'll just find out when it cuts out and uh, just for um see how they go so um, the mic I had before, I had a cord on the uh, Lumix and uh, it, it's just a pain getting around, tripping over and I was getting some background hum as you probably noticed on one or two of my vlogs and it was annoying me so I outlaid for that and um, I don't think they sell that, I think on Amazon they might sell the white one but I'm not sure, um, I think they're out of stock so I will put, I'll put, see if I can find a link for that in the uh, states for amazon uh, if you're in australia it's easy enough to get um, maybe it's an australian company i don't know but they're readily available here they're not cheap uh, australian money you sort of look at any if you get them for 250 you're doing all right i think i paid about 260 something but uh, anyway that's that all right enough rambling on um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next vlog.